this video is about basically the connections through evidence of business filings of a organization whose design is to steal the land on behalf of foreign interests, foreign entities. I've seen this pattern before, I've done videos on it, and so here's another one. From Wikipedia, Bryan is a city in and the county seat of Wooden County, Ohio, United States. It is located in the state's northwestern corner, 53 miles in southwest of Toledo. The population was 8,729 at the 2020 census. Bryan was platted in 1840 by John A. Bryan and named after him and was incorporated as a village in 1841 and reincorporated as a city in 1941. Williams County was originally part of Defiance County, with Defiance as the county seat. The area was later split into Williams and Defiance counties. Bryan was named the seat of Fort New County. And there we go. Let's get into it. The Honorable Karen Compe Gallagher, or I would say Dishonorable, presides over the Williams County Common Pleas Court, Juvenile, and Probate Divisions. The Williams County Probate Court handles all fines and hearings for the admission of wills, the administration of dissidents, estates. And that's where we'll stop, because the estates part is the most important. Under the profile of that individual, we find estate planning is under the areas of practice. So far, so good. This takes us to an article, New Lawyer for Brian. The Brian Council agrees to a contract for prosecutorial services with a local law firm. Blah, blah, blah. Council voted unanimously to end the contract of Rhonda Fisher, Bryan City Attorney and Municipal Prosecutor. Fisher had served as City Attorney since 2001. Termination came after an hour-long closed executive session at the end of the council meeting. I wonder why they, a alleged public entity, would in fact close their session to the public. Sounds like they have information that was shared there they don't want getting out to the people in the area. Rhonda Lay Fisher, Esquire, is practicing law since 1993, currently in Bryan and has over 31 years of practice. Rhonda L. Fisher is listed under Buckeye Building Services Incorporated, Defiance, Ohio. Now, under this document, it is listed the Law Office of Fisher and Schule, S-C-H-U-L-L-E, Defiance, Ohio. However, Fisher and Schuler, LTD, the actual name of their practice. And the registered agent for that document is Rhonda L. Fisher out of Defiance, Ohio. Now out of Bryan, Ohio, there's an individual, Patrick Azzarello, on Murr Group, that's M-Y-R-R-H Group, LLC. Patrick Azzarello also has <clears throat> Murr Group LLC registered in Florida. Also registered in Florida, Florida, Kimberly Lowry, Murr Holdings LLC, with CT Corporation, Volters Kluber. Volters Kluber is foreign to Europe, and CT Corporation System, as I did a video on in their original articles of incorporation, cited their... Uh, association, their corporate CT corporation system, as designed to, quote, assist members of the bar association, both inside and outside the U.S., with essentially running the quote-unquote government, which is not, well, I guess it's a corporate government uh, on behalf of foreign interests. We have no um, legitimate domestic United States. It is all foreign investment property of foreign foreign managers or foreign overlords, whatever you call it. Now, under this document, Murr Holdings, LLC, it lists a Thrensa Family Trust Company. And nobody on this list has the last name of Thrensa. So that's particularly interesting. And then, of course, trusts, generally speaking, have to deal with estates. However, we'll find that name, Lowry, here under Echolink, Incorporated, in Ohio, but apparently incorporated by Kristen Sheeran out of Tucker, Georgia. However, the Echo Link Incorporated is out of Decatur, Georgia. I don't know how close to Tucker that is. The registered agent is Kimberly Lowry out of Easton Commons Way, Suite 125, Columbus, Ohio. And that other document was in Florida. 
And for this document, the alleged president of this entity, Echo Link Incorporated, is Brandon Pellicero. Also there out of Ohio is a Murfield International Incorporated by Ahmed Salad out of Roach Road, Columbus, Ohio. This person also incorporated a company called Core Development, K-O-O-R, and the address is different from the other document under the same name, and this one is Ren Trace, Columbus, Ohio. Out of Florida, we have Donko Logistics, LLC, incorporated out of Virginia to, with the name change to Core Logistics, K-O-O-R Logistics, and this has the underside as Coraliu Kolsnick, or as probably it would be Kolsnich. In Florida, again, we have Core Group Incorporated, domesticated in Florida. Corneliu Kolsnich. So I believe that other name back there was a mistake. <laughs> Maybe not so much a mistake, but either way, it was a misspelling, apparently. And this one is listed as Bristow, Virginia. Now, in Virginia, we have Core Industries LLC. There's two entities with the name K-O-O-R. The name under this one is David W. Rook out of Goochland, Virginia. We also have Core Group Incorporated and Active Domesticated Out of Virginia. And the Chief Executive Officer, Cornelio Colesnitch, out of Manassas, Virginia, not Bristow, Manassas. In the UK uh, Publishing House for Businesses, it lists Mr. Cornelio Kolsnich as a of national, Romanian nationality residing in the UK. Back to Ohio, we have Core Incorporated with the undersigned Stephen J. Boshier, that's B-O-W-S-H-I-E-R, Incorporator. Stephen J. Boshier, also incorporated, Nissi LTD. LTD is Orn. It's their Ford version of the LLC. Also, Creative Properties, LTD, Stephen J. Boshier. Then we have the Articles of Incorporation of the Grove City Christian Schools, Incorporated, Grove City, Ohio, Franklin County. And under here, we've got Stephen J. Boshier, Incorporator. Also, Stephen J. Bosch here for the Hawking Valley Church of the Nazarene. We have the Lancaster Calvary Church of the Nazarene, also Stephen J. Bosch here. Morning Star Ministries Incorporated, same name of the agent. And we have the Harrisburg Civic Association. This lists Stephen J. Bosch here and also a name, Kurt Mueller. Now, it is important to notice that with all of those examples there, the addresses were different. They were not congruent with the alleged address of the agent. Now, out of Ohio, there's a Kurt Mueller with the address as being different from the other address that was listed under that, that document we just looked at about the trustees of that Harrisburg Civic Association. And this one is listed as Aurora, Ohio, Devora Drive. In Virginia, we have Proofrex USA Incorporated, active status date since 2015 or VA qualification date was 2013, and the jurisdiction, allegedly, is in Georgia. And here we have Kurt Mueller, President Chief Executive Officer, Proofrex Innovative Power Products, GmbH, Eggers Dorfstrasse, Coldsburg, Deutschland. Now, we have Stephen J. Bosch here, Incorporator, under a document, Trent Graves Incorporated, uh, with Robert Graves is uh, also appointed as agent. Now we have Lono Incorporated with Lisa Graves as the appointed agent and signed off by Robert Graves, probably husband and wife, perhaps. This takes us to a document, Benedict Farms, LLC, Abigail M. Saving, Logan, Ohio, which, of course, this document, Benedict Farms, has the name listed Lisa Graves. Now, if we go to that place, Logan, Ohio, which bears striking similarity to Bryan, Ohio, although being very far from one another, Hawking County Juvenile and Probate Judge Jonah Saving swears in his wife, Abigail Saving, as Logan City Law Director as she holds the hands of their children, Molly and Finn. And as we read at the beginning of the video, probate judges handle estates and real estate. And this article has the cute name, Swearing and Saving, by John Strand, Logan Daily News. Abigail Saving, 
partner. Here's her legal uh, practice profile. Ohio, uh, Abby graduated in 2005 from the Ohio State University with a BSBA degree, magna cum laude, blah, blah, blah. Ohio State University, Moritz College of Law, Juris Doctor degree, summa cum laude, Order of the Coif. Sounds like some sort of uh, noble order with a foreign bend to it, like all these other things are. Upon graduate law school, Abby practiced with a large law firm in Columbus, Ohio, with primary focus on real estate and corporate matters, including the representation of investors and developers in the acquisition, financing, sale, and disposition of real estate developments, commercial landlord and tenant issues, and commercial lending. Of course, it does not list their representation of foreign investors. No, it's not going to do that. That would be too on the nose, right? Anyway, uh, Abby moved to Logan in 2010 and has practiced with the Saving and Shepler Law Firm, formerly known as Liley and Saving Co. LPA. She now focuses her practice on real estate, general business law, probate, estate planning, and civil litigation, and of course, naturally has the same type of titles that we saw with Brian Ohio and real estate acquisitions. Ryan J. Shepler grew up in North Canton, Ohio, where he was an avid bowler on North Canton, blah, blah, blah. Uh, attended the University of Akron School of Law, served as production editor at University of Akron's Law Review. Studied for the bar exam, Ryan moved to Logan, Ohio, where he has lived in practice for more than nine years. Prior to joining Abigail Saving, forming Saving Shepler, Ryan was a partner at Kernan and Shepler LLC in Logan, Ohio. So we find a incorporated document for Lappin, Liley, Kernan, and Company, LPA, out of Logan. Now, the Abigail Saving worked with Saving or Liley and Saving, or is it Saving and Liley? I don't know. And Shepler worked for Shepler and Kernan. It's that interesting. So now we're just missing somebody associated with Lappin, of which they all are associated, of course. Now, Will Kernan is listed with areas of law as real estate, go figure, probate. Robert L. Liley is listed as areas of law as real estate, trust, state planning, probate, and will. Hmm. The next one, Herbert D. Lappin, 64 of 56 North Orchard Street, a uh, Logan attorney, died Sunday evening at blah, 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 1975. He was the son of Miss Frieda Lappin, 154 West Hunter Street, and the late Charles W. Lappin. Mr. Lappin served 16 years as Hawking County prosecutor and as a member of the Ohio Bar Association. And he was allegedly a Navy veteran of World War II, but I highly doubt that. And he went to the Ohio State University School of Law and a member of a bunch of different um, corrupt organizations. Now, in uh, Think Community City Employees, Logan, an article in his farewell address, Logan City Law Director Bob Liley commended Logan Mayor Mike Welsh for blah, blah, blah. So yeah, Logan City Law Director Bob Liley, or Robert Liley, is, would be listed on the document. Will Curtin, uh, served with the United States Army, which that's probably a lie too, Stolen Valor, of course, uh, Bar Association, Junior Chamber of Commerce President in Logan, District Director of Ohio. Of course, I should well note that Will Curtin, uh, naturally, was also involved in the focus on real estate. Surprise there. Law Director, City of Logan, 1978 to 1979, what a surprise. Uh, acting Judge Hawking County Municipal Court, 1983 to 1987. That's not a surprise. Board member, Logan Hawking City School District and Council Hawking County Republican Party. Well, that uh, seems about right. Now, let's see. Uh, major clients, Mutual Federal Savings Bank, Southern Ohio Production Credit Association, Bank Ohio National Bank, Bank One Athens North A, Salt Creek Valley Bank, Logan Clay Products Company, Keynes Brothers Flour Mill, and just more and more corruption, corruption, corruption. Now we come to Liley and Saving Co. LPA and their filing document. Here it states that the Liley and Saving Co. LPA will be changed to Saving and Scheffler Co. LPA with Abigail M. Saving it as the sole shareholder. Then we find Appalachian Advanced Energy Association Incorporate or LLC with OSAC Incorporated. I did a video on OSAC previously and they are 
just like all these other ones, corrupt organization with uh, foreign investment controllers in Europe. And naturally, Appalachian Advanced Energy Association, LLC, Abigail M. Saving, Logan, Ohio, Camp Cuervo, LLC, Robert L. Liley, and Abigail M. Saving, Logan, Ohio, Complete Resources Recovery, LLC, Robert L. Wiley, Logan, Ohio. The Condominium at Edgehill Estates Association, apparently CMC Real Estate Group, Logan, Ohio. This document lists a Nancy Saving as being one of the individuals to serve as initial director. Also, it lists a Marjorie Saving in the initial articles of incorporation and initial, uh, in additional names and addresses of individuals who serve as initial directors. And of course, naturally the statutory agent is Abigail M. Saving for condominium at Edge Hill Estates Association. Now we have the Empire Minerals Corporation by Robert L. Wiley. We have the Green Falls Gas Company Incorporated by Herbert Hubert D. Lappin. We have the Grim Oil Company by Robert L. Wiley. There's the Hawken Hills Property Management LLC, Lively, Lively and Saving Co. LPA. The Hawking County Children's Museum Incorporated, Lively and Saving Co. LPA. We have the original appointment of agent, Robert L. Lively, and this is for the Hawking Housing and Management Incorporated. We've got the Saving Hollow Holdings LLC, Lively and Saving Co. LPA. Also, there is the Liquid TNT Incorporated, Will Kernan. And we have the Liley and Saving Co. LPA, Logan Theater Incorporated. We've got the Prestige Properties of Rockbridge, LLC, Will Kernan and Cindy Kernan. There's the Hawking Hills Serenity Salt Cave, LLC, Liley and Saving Co. LPA. As well, we have the Savings Riverbank, LLC, Liley and Saving Co. LPA. We have the SK Coal Company, Incorporated, Will Kernan. And for the last one, we have the Vinton Community Resources, LLC, Lily and Saving Co. LPA. And Vinton County is allegedly separate from Hawking County. Although this stuff is becoming more and more obvious that it's all centralized on behalf of foreign interests. Thank you. If you have enjoyed this video, please uh, like it, share it, subscribe to my channels, uh, join my newly formed Discord. Uh, there are free books available at the link, and if you so desire, you may support my work at PayPal or Cash App or any of the other options. Thank you.